Hey, I know most of you sat for Edexcel Advanced Level exams this month. I uh, hope the exam went well. Those who sat for AS are now starting on A2 work. If you start studying early and regularly, you can ace your exams for sure. So I thought of uploading A2 lessons and questions for each lesson on a regular basis as early as possible. So don't worry that uh, you don't have a textbook for this subject. I'm adding all the lessons with notes in the presentation according to the Excel spec and the guidelines. So here you go. I hope you are excited as I am to start. I have added a screenshot of the topics that comes under A2 Unit 3. Uh, there are Unit 3 paper. There are five main topics. First topic is on data. This is a very important topic and it's topic 12 in the spec. For anyone planning to obtain a degree in IT or data science, this is very useful. Under this topic, we learn on data and big data, data types, uh, characteristics of data, data normalization, uh, data validation, data validation rules, data dictionaries, data models, and also data mining and data warehousing, and data analytics. Yep, it's a lengthy uh, topic, but a very useful and timely topic as well. Next topic, uh, topic 13 is enabling technologies. Uh, topic 13 deals with the technologies which may be used when setting up uh, or interacting with the system. So we learn concepts such as virtualization, uh, automation, scaling systems, resilience on disaster. We also learn, uh, learn on distributed systems, encryption techniques, system interface designing, data storage, cloud storage, and database management system. Uh, the theory knowledge that you learn uh, in this topic will be practically used in, uh, in your unit four topics. That is the unit four paper, practical paper. The theory that you are learning under this topic will be really useful in unit four as well because you will be uh, using uh, learning a database management tool such as Access or MySQL and you will be you will practically have to uh, work on those tools in the practical paper. Okay, the next topic is topic 14 and it is using IT systems uh, in organizations. Under this topic, you will learn on IT systems and the role of those systems in organizations. Uh, under different IT systems, you will deep dive into transaction processing systems, uh, CRM, the customer relationship management system, and then MIS, management information systems, and intelligent uh, artificial intelligence systems, AI systems. Uh, then we need to learn on IT system policies, IT change over methods, and uh, how we can maintain the IT systems, and then uh, system recovery methods in a disaster. Uh, this topic is a little easy as you have already used some sort of these systems in your day-to-day -day life, like when you are purchasing, when you are logging to your school management uh, system, uh, learning management systems. Likewise, uh, since you have a uh, have a experience, it's easy to understand this uh, lesson. Okay, so let's see what's next. In topic 15, you will learn on system development. You deal with, uh, in this topic, you will mainly deal with the project management techniques. Uh, the waterfall method and the agile approaches are looked at in detail. Uh, here you will learn on setting the smart targets and goals in a project, setting guidelines and scheduling and managing the work progress. You will learn on gun charts uh, and critical path analysis. Likewise, how a project is uh, managed. Uh, basically a software development project. Finally, you will learn on traditional waterfall method in project management and the agile process that most organizations that follow at present. Okay, so now we are moving to see what's inside topic 16. That is the last topic in unit 3. Uh, the topic covers uh, several fast developing areas of IT. Uh, with fast development of artificial intelligence, this would be useful for you to broaden your knowledge. 
uh, here you will learn machine learning and uh, under that you will learn concepts such as natural language processing speech recognition image recognition pattern recognition those uh, all are ai techniques after this lesson you will be able to understand like i hope you all have used the chat gpt you have uh, if not please try it out uh, you can use your natural language and get the answers uh, and you can compare how uh, the google search works when you have a problem and how chat gpt works uh, it's a nice experience so if you haven't uh, used chat gpt just try it out uh, and then you will uh, see the wonders so after this lesson you will see uh, how chat gpt is developed using these uh, ai techniques that i mentioned uh, you will also learn uh, on iot internet of things on under this topic and virtual reality augmented reality uh, under emerging technologies okay uh, so that's the end of unit three topics we have five topics in total and i have uh, uh, i have mentioned in very high level what you will be learning under each topic these are the things uh, that will come for your a2 unit three exam paper so now that you know what's included in all the topics in unit 3 what lesson you want me to start in unit uh, a to unit 3 i am planning to upload the lessons regularly and on a weekly basis so leave a comment about your ideas suggestions when you do you like uh, when do you like to get the new lessons and i'm planning to upload actually weekly basis let me know what day is your preference to listen to the lesson Okay, so let's begin and do a very good job in A2 exams. Please subscribe and share with your friends so we all can go on our journey to ace the IT subject. We need to target a star for IT subjects. Click on the bell icon to get the notification so you won't miss any lesson. Good luck, guys. Awaiting your responses. Thank you.